MMA Boxing Talk here. This is a UFC 238 prediction video this Saturday. Uh, can't wait for this card. So much depth. So much depth on this card. I love these type of cards. Um, it might not have the biggest names, the Connors or the Khabibs or whatever. Um, but there's a lot of depth and uh, just a lot of good, meaningful fights. I put out... Um, I put out something on my Instagram, uh, an interesting stat. There's 11 fighters uh, on this card that are in the top five of their respective divisions or champion, right? So 11 in the top five. Uh, a lot of meaningful fights on this card. So I'm going to get right into it. Starting with the main event, Henry Cejudo taking on Marlon Moraes for the vacant 135-pound title. Uh, TJ Dillashaw's old belt that he gave up, uh, he relinquished before he got popped, um, anyway, great fight, interesting fight, um, I'm going with Marlon Marais in this fight, um, I think he's going to win by second round stoppage, second or third, but I'll, I'll go with second, that will be my official prediction, um, I'm going to go TKO, Henry Cejudo is a great fighter and he might surprise me, like this is a uh, Someone that's accomplished so much, um, but he's also fighting a full-fledged Walter weight, uh, a Bantam weight, I should say, where when he fought TJ Dillashaw, Dillashaw was depleted. Whether that's the reason why Dillashaw lost, um, we didn't really, even even with that loss though, we didn't really get to know. It's not like like Henry Cejudo answered all these questions that he can handle fighting a 135er. Um, he blitzed them and it was over before it even started. Um, so this will be, that'll be interesting. I just, Marlon is such a, a dynamic striker. He's just, he's a hungry fighter as well. Um, I'm just picking Marlon. I, I think he gets it done. Co-main event is Valentina Shevchenko defending her 125 pound title against Jessica I. Um, Jessica I, you know, wrestler, likes to stand and bang a bit. I don't think she'll be any match for Shevchenko. Shevchenko is a master when it comes to MMA. Uh, let's be honest. The only one, like the only person she's ever lost to is um, Amanda Nunez, who you know is the best female fighter on the planet. Uh, and even you know Nunez, Amanda Nunez didn't even ever come close to finishing Shevchenko in both their fights. Maybe the first one actually she got a little bit of damage, but. Shevchenko was never, you know, she was never in that much trouble. Like, maybe a little bit. Nunez was doing well in the beginning, but then Shevchenko put it on her. All to say, uh, I'm on Shevchenko for sure. Next fight, the People's main event. Tony Ferguson taking on Cowboy Cerrone. I love both these fighters. Um, two of my favorite fighters. Cerrone's on such a tear lately. Uh, and, you know, that Ayo Quinta fight was an amazing performance. One of Cowboy's best, if not his best performance ever of his career. Um, I was there live for that, too. Uh, incredible fight. But um, I got to go with Tony Ferguson in this one. I just think he gets it done. I could be wrong because Tony, you know, is, is definitely a slow starter. I would say even slower starter than Cowboy. Um, I could see Cowboy finishing Tony in the first round. But... Ah, I just think Tony av avoids that, um, and then the pressure will get to Cerrone eventually. Tony's got so many weapons, whether it's his elbows, um, his just his funky style to just the whole thing is is hard to deal with. Um, it'd be just it's a lot of anxiety fighting a guy like Tony Ferguson, and we know how Cowboy can respond to that in the past. Uh, I know you know. Since the birth of his son, he's been on a tear. Uh, but I, I still think Tony wins. But I think it'll be a decision. I, I have a feeling. But <clears throat> either way, I think that's going to be an amazing fight. Uh, so I got Tony by decision. Um, Shevchenko. Or, uh, yeah, the Shevchenko fight, I got her by stoppage. Uh, Jessica I. Um, now, Jimmy Rivera is taking on Peter Yawn. Great fight. Uh, Yawn is... Seems to be a savage, you know, all out boxing with really good footwork. He's big, strong for the division. Um, Jimmy Rivera 
He's had a couple losses uh, recently. Uh, solid fighter. I just think uh, this is Yon's time. I think Peter Yon is going to do some damage in this division. And I think he uh, he just overwhelms and grinds out Jimmy Rivera. But I, I think it'll go to the decision. Um, the first fight on the main card, Tai Tuivasa is taking on uh, Blagoy Ivanov. Uh, I got Tuivasa. Ivanov, you know, he might have some skill, but Tuivas is dangerous. He's super quick for the division. Um, he's also a younger guy, and he's he seems to have really uh, grown as a as a just as a person ever since the the loss to JDS. Seems rejuvenated, so I'm definitely going with Tuivasa. Now for the prelims, solid uh, four fights on the prelims I can't wait for this card so many good fights so Tatiana Suarez is taking on Nina Ansarov that's a fight that um, you know the winner will probably get a title shot against um, Jessica Andrade more than likely uh, I gotta go with um, Tatiana Suarez she is like maybe not exactly the same style but she's like basically like the Khabib of, uh, of straw weight so I definitely see her just dominating Ansarov. And Ansarov is a solid fighter. Um, but Tatiana is, I'm pretty sure she's much bigger and stronger. Um, I think she'll just be way too much for Ansarov. And she's, I don't know. I, I'm going to say Suarez by, by stoppage, actually. Probably by submission. I'm going to go with round two submission. Um... The next fight, also a fight that, uh, you know, the winner will more than likely get a title shot. Aljamain Sterling is taking on uh, Pedro Munoz. That's a great fight. In my opinion, this um, is one of the toughest fights to predict on this card. Sterling looked amazing in his last fight against Jimmy Rivera. Um, just a very smart uh, tactical game plan, and he executed very well. Um, this fight, I think, will be much more difficult uh, Pedro Munoz is dangerous. His striking's come a really long way. Um, and his submission game is just very dangerous. Uh, amazing submission artist. So Aljo, Aljamain Sterling has to be careful. Uh, yeah, he's got good wrestling. You know, he's good on the ground, but, um, you still got to be really careful. And then, you know, I don't know. This is a really tough one. I'm going with Aljamain Sterling. Um, I like both fighters, but this is my least confident pick on the card is Aljamain Sterling. Um, and that's nothing to take away from Sterling. That's just to say how good, um, Pedro Munoz is. So, but the, the winner will more than likely fight the winner of the main event. Um, who knows what will happen because, uh, Sterling obviously lost to, um, he lost to Marlon Marais. So if Marais, I'm predicting Marais to win. If Marais happens to, to win that title on Saturday, uh, there could be a rematch if Sterling wins as well. Uh, but, you know, um, we'll have to see what happens on Saturday, right? Only only time will tell. Um, also, a couple more fights. Uh, Karolina Kovalkiewicz is fighting Alexa Grosso. This is an another tough one to predict. Um, Karolina is definitely on the decline. Um, she's has way more experience than Grasso. Grasso seems, you know, definitely, um, I don't know, more well-rounded at this point, you could say. Um, definitely more of a diverse game. I'm going with Carolina. I think she can get, you know, win a grind decision. Um, but that one should be a close one. Another close one, uh, Ricardo Lamas has taken on Calvin Cater. I believe, uh, I believe Lomas is gonna is gonna win a decision. Might not be pretty, um, but I think he gets it done. Just with his strength and uh, maybe getting a couple takedowns here and there. I think he's definitely more of a powerful guy than uh, Cater. Cater striking is pretty good. He's a pretty. Uh, he's got some all right hands, uh, but I just think uh, Ricardo Lomas gets it done. But uh, that's it for this one. If you like the video, subscribe. Check me out on um, Instagram uh, at MMA Boxing 8 and also on Twitter 
at MMA Boxing Talk 1. That's it for this one. Peace.